Hello, welcome to this video about loci. So, first of all we need to establish what loci is. Loci is a set of points satisfying a particular rule. So we're going to look at some simple examples and then move towards exam questions at the end. So, first example, find all the points that are 3 centimetres from X. So what we do is, I'm going to use this rule over here, I'm going to say that these represent millimetres, so we're looking for 30 millimetres. So set your compass to 3 centimetres, and then we're going to draw a circle with radius 3 centimetres around that point. So what we're saying is that every point on this line here is 3 centimetres away from the centre of that circle. OK, so the next thing we're going to consider is what about all the region, the region of all points that are more than 3 centimetres away from X? Well, we've already established that everything on that circle is exactly 3 centimetres away from X. So if I consider everything further away than 3 centimetres from this point X, then it's everything outside the circle. So that's what we mean by the region all the points that are more than three centimeters away and clearly the region of points that are less than three centimeters away from x well that's anything inside the circle so that's the simplest example of um, a loci so the next one then is equidistance from two points so first of all we need to understand what that means equidistance means that it's exactly the same distance from two points and we're going to show all the points are exactly the same distance from A and B. Well, clearly there's a point in the middle there, and that's going to be the midpoint of the line AB, but there are other points as well, and they're basically going to form a line going right the way through the middle. Now, this is known as a perpendicular bisector, which is one of the constructions that you should know. If you're not sure how to do a perpendicular bisector, then I suggest you find a video just to um, brush up your skills on that. So, I'll quickly talk you through how you do a perpendicular bisector. Basically, put your compass on one of the points. Um, now, this is the bit that catches people out sometimes. How far do you set your compass to? Well, basically, my rule is about two-thirds of the length of the line. If you have it too short, then you're not going to um, be able to create the necessary points. And it's too long then maybe it'll go off the page or something so I say about two-thirds the length of the line is usually about right so um, we're going to draw a circle around the point A with the compass set at that distance okay so done so now this is again crucial you mustn't change the setting of the compass it must be the same distance as it was before and then draw a circle around B now remember that these two circles are now exactly the same size. So any point on that circle is the same distance from B as any point on this circle is from A. And what that means is these two points here are the same distance from both. And all we do is we join those points up with a straight line. Again, very important to keep your accuracy as well as you can. So, drawing a line all the way through those points, slightly off there, slightly more difficult to do uh, on this version, but you must keep it accurate. Now, is it really important that you don't brush out your, uh, rub out your construction line? So, though that's my line that I'm going to use, you must keep your construction lines on there because that's like you're working out for these examples. So, the next thing I'm going to do is um, consider these ones at the bottom here. So show the region of all the points closer to A than B. Well, we know that all of these points here are the same distance from A and B. So anything to the left of this line is going to be closer to A than it is to B. And in a similar way, the region of all points closer to B than A is anything this side of the line. Next one. 
So equidistance from two lines. So we've got two lines, OA and OB. We're trying to find all the points that are the same distance from those two lines. So what we're actually going to construct here is an angle bisector. And again, that's something that you need to look up if you're not sure how to do it, but I'll talk you through it anyway. So, all I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to put my compass at O, and I'm going to open my compass up to about a centimetre usually does it. Um, you don't want it too large because um, it will go off the page, but you don't want it so small that you can't use the compass effectively. So what I've done there is I've drawn a circle, and this point and this point here are two points I'm going to use for the next stage. And those two points are crucially the same distance away from the point O. So I'm going to put my compass on the, one of those points I've just generated, open my compass up quite a bit, and I'm going to uh, just draw a nice arc that's clearly going to go somewhere in the middle of this angle here. Then go to the other side. Again, it's crucial that you keep your compass at the same distance. Draw an arc, and you're looking for them to cross over. I didn't quite do it. I'm going to draw a full circle just to make sure that it does recognise that. Oops. There we go. Hopefully that will do it. Yeah, there we go. So I've got the point that I needed. And then join from here past that point, and you've created an angle bisector. Um, move this over here. There we go. Use a different colour. There we go. So I've got my angle bisector done there. So every point on that line is exactly the same distance from OA as it is from OB. And again, we can look at these two problems at the bottom. So show the region of all points closer to OA than OB. Well, that's anything this side of this line. Now, it does actually go past this point as well, but we're just really concerned with anything contained within the angle. But strictly speaking, we could be talking about this region here as well. Show the region of all the points closer to OB than OA. So that's anything closer to this line than that line. Well, we know these are the same distance away. So it's this side of that angle bisector, which is that one there. OK? So this um, is a question that often gets um, put out there in exam questions. So show all the points that are two centimetres from the line AB. Well. There's really two parts to this. There's the straight line part, and then what do we do about the end? Well, all the points that are two centimetres from this line. Well, you're basically going to have a straight line here and here. So that's a line two centimetres above the line, a line two centimetres below the line. So all of those points on that line are now two centimetres away from this line, whether they're above or below. Now, it's the end bits that often cause the problems. So, what you do is put your compass at the end of the line, one end of the line, and line up your compass so that it is touching that line there. And you're just going to draw a semicircle like that. Go to this end and draw a semicircle again. So we've now ended up with um, this sort of race track, if you like, that shows all the points that are two centimetres from that line AB. And it's the bit at the end that often catches people out. So, again, this sort of thing that comes up in exams at times. So show the region trapped um, in the rectangle that is closer to AB than AC. So we're talking about a set of points that's closer to this line than it is to this line. So first of all, we need to establish all the points that are the same distance or equidistance from AB and BC, which is an angle bisector. So let's start that. So great, two points at the same distance from um, point B. Move your compass to that point there. And create an arc somewhere that's going to be considered to be We're going to draw the full circle. Again, you don't have to draw the full circle, but there's nothing wrong if you do. Create another rock. Where they meet, just here. 
is going to be one of the points of our angle bisector. Join it up to the point that you're forming the angle at. And there we go. So that's the angle bisector. So every point on that red line is the same distance from AB as it is from BC. So we want all the points closer to AB than BC, so that will be this side, but we don't do anything with that just yet. We also need to have this further rule that whatever points we shade are going to be within two centimeters of D. So let's set our compass to two centimeters. There we go put it to point D. So every point on this circle is exactly two centimeters from D. So anything within that circle is within two centimeters of D. So we've got to be this side of that red line and within this circle. So we've actually got just this small region just here. So just show that. So there we go, just a very small region, that little sector there. Okay. Right, so let's start to look at exam questions then. So the first exam question is uh, this one here. Um, just make sure we can see all the question there. So, um, it's a map of Northern England and a radio station in Manchester transmits programs. Its programs can be received anywhere within a tenth of a distance of 30 kilometers. So clearly we're not going to be setting our compass to 30 kilometers, so there's a scale involved. The scale is one centimeter represents 10 kilometers, so we're going to have a three centimeter distance that we're going to use. So set your compass to three centimeters. And move it to Manchester and simply draw a circle. So everything on that circle is a distance of 30 kilometers from Manchester. So the radio program can only be received within that distance. So we're looking at anything inside that circle. Next one. So map shows part of a lake. So this is the lake. Uh, in a competition for radio control boats, competitor has to steer a boat so that its path between A and B and C, D is a straight line. So we're going to have a straight line going from these two. And the path is always the same distance from A as it is from B. So we're looking at a perpendicular bisector. So put your compass onto point B and draw a circle. Compass onto point A, draw a circle. Draw a line going between the two. And there we have it. So that's the perpendicular bisector of A and B. So that's the course in which it has to follow. Now, interestingly on there, um, it hasn't gone through the line CD. So it may be in transferring this from exam paper to this screen that some of the scale has gone out and uh, as a result, it's not gone through there. But uh, that's the, the general idea anyway of what you needed to do. Um, so that's the path, that's part A. And then if I can just, um, Clear that area. So there is a practice region for competitors. The practice region is the part of the lake that is less than um, 30 meters from point E, and the scale of the map is one centimeter represents 10 meters. Shade this practice region on the map. Okay, so again with this one, we've got to set our compass to the right distance. So we want 10 meters represents one centimeter so we need to do three centimeters which from a previous question it's still set up there so we just draw a circle round point e like that now again crucial part here is thinking of the context of the question so the practice region um, will have to be 
in the lake, so it's got to be within that circle and on the lake, so we're looking at any point here. Okay, thank you.